Should I work more than one network marketing direct sales company at a time? Well, that's an interesting question. I'm here in Marseille, France. Last night we had a great meeting. Over 500 people were there. And after the meeting, we did the night owl. This is kind of the meeting after the meeting where you take some leaders and you go eat. And we had some amazing local food. And over those discussions, a lot of questions come up and a lot of fun and laughter and talk about our journeys. And one of the questions that came up was, well, what do we do if, if in our organization somebody decides to work more than one network marketing company? They're working multiple programs. And it's a really good question. And the first thing to say is, well, we're not dictators. We can't fire people. We can't intimidate them. So they're free to do what they want to do. But we can create a culture that would dictate what we would prefer that they do or what we would prefer that they don't do. And stories and examples and illustrations help that quite a bit. And one of the gentlemen I was with, his name is Fabian, and he had a great example. He said, well, imagine that you're a sports athlete, but you wanted to be a pro. That means you wanted to work, play at the top level. And ask yourself, if you were a pro, could you play in the US Open, in Wimbledon, in tennis, and at the same time play in the World Cup of soccer or football, and at the same time we'll play the World Championship in baseball, and, and also be the star of a Super Bowl team, right? And the answer is that's probably not gonna happen. Now, is there an exception to the rule? Sure, somebody like Bo Jackson, he played football and baseball for a short period of time, but it's certainly not something that a coach would wanna recommend to any athletes that's trying to become a top pro paid athlete. They would say, pick one sport, get your 10,000 hours in there, get good at it and get paid as much as you can in that sport. And that's a great analogy for network marketing. You know, you simply have to pick one company and then get good, work on your skills, and work your way to the top of the pay plan in that company rather than get distracted by working multiple programs. And yes, it is a distraction. Remember that most of your people on your team and within your organization, as they're building, they're doing it part-time. You may even be doing it part-time. I know when I started, I was doing it part-time as well. Well, that's anywhere from four to eight hours a week. Well, if I divide that up between one company, that means I'm giving that one company four to eight hours. That means I'm working my way towards the top of the pay plan or up the middle of the pay plan with a full focused effort. But if I'm working two programs, I got to divide those eight hours and I'm working four hours on each one. If I'm working three programs, I can't even do the math on that, but it's about two and a half hours per program. It's very difficult to get ahead financially and build the top of the plan when you're dividing it up like that. Another thought of the, around this is that in most network marketing companies, the most amount of money you can make is near the top of the plan. That means you're actually maximizing on your organization. So once you get past halfway up the plan and you're three quarters of the way up and the top of the way up, your income truly becomes very stable because it's a larger group of people with a larger amount of volume with more customers and you get paid deeper on it so that your check is actually rather large. So if you're working two different companies, you might work your way up halfway up or a third of the way up in both. But here's what I can tell you, in most cases, adding up both those incomes when you're a third of the way up or half the way up doesn't add up to being two thirds of the way or, or the full way up of one plan. You see, being two thirds of the way up and all the way to the top of one compensation plan pays a whole lot better than being a third of the way or half of the way up two or three other company plans. And that's just the reality of the way compensation plans are made because most plans are designed that if you really build it big and build it once and build it to last a lifetime of freedom, it should be there stable and strong and deep for you. Well, let's look at it one other way. Imagine that you decide to work two different network marketing companies. You've got company A and you've got company B. And you say, I'd rather hedge my bets and do this. And maybe you can pull it off because you're full time and you've got the skills for it. And all of a sudden you sponsor Mary and Mary sees that you're working two different companies. And she says, that must be okay. That must be the culture of the company, of the organization. So she joins company A as well. So that's good. You could both are the same company, but instead of joining company B, she joins company C. So she's an A and C and you're an A and B. Well, at least you're benefiting from Mary because she's in one of the same companies that you're in. Now Mary goes out and sponsors Jose. And Jose says, look, you're in two different companies. Mary's in two different companies. I should be in two companies too. I mean, that's just the way that it is. And Jose says, I'm gonna join company C just like Mary. And then I'm going to join company D over here because he finds that more interesting. And all of a sudden, Jose's in C and D, you're in A and B, and you're not benefiting from any of the work that he does. He's no longer in any of your organizations. And if you think that's a large exaggeration, that actually happens very quickly, and it can get out of hand also very quickly. So our suggestion, and again, you build your business the way you want to. I know within the organization that we teach and build, and most of the top leaders that I know and masterminds that we hang out with, they say, 
Pick one company to have your problems with, because there are no perfect companies. Pick one to have your problems with, and then decide to build your way up to the halfway mark of the plan, and then the three-quarter mark, and then all the way to the top of the plan. Because that means that you'll have built it once, you'll have built it big, and then you'll have built it for a lifetime of freedom. And then encourage that within your organization. Encourage people to say, let's just pick one. Pick one that you want to do, and then let's do that together. Let's buddy up, let's shoulder to shoulder, and let's get it done. And of course, if they decide to do two, we can't dictate to them what they, are, they can or can't do. But we most certainly can be very strong defenders of the organization and try to eliminate distractions. Because the reality is, if people in your team are working more than one program, it will end up being a distraction. So this is Art Jonak in Marseille. We had a great meeting. We're excited. And next, we're going to Barcelona. So we'll see how things go over there. And hopefully, because I've got another topic I want to talk to you, we'll shoot a video from Barcelona and share that as well. So, ciao for now. See you in Barcelona.